What about resumes? I'm, I'm, I'm asked a lot of times about resumes, and I probably pay less attention to resumes than, than most people do. You got to have one? Um, maybe. I mean, frankly, today, your LinkedIn profile may be good enough for most of the things that, uh, that, that you've got to do. If you don't have a LinkedIn pro uh, profile, you got to get one and do that, do that quick. Make sure it's always current and make sure it's always accurate. Beyond a resume, this is a document that helps you tell your story. And it'll help you if you have a good story to tell and if you tell it right. So what makes a good story? Well, in my opinion, good choices, because you're going to have to be explaining them, with logical explanations. Because in your career, you're going to be faced with a number of times where you're going to be sitting down across the table from somebody that you want to convince they ought to do something positive for you. And they're probably going to look at your background and look at your resume and start asking you questions like, well, why did you do that? Why did you make that choice? Why did you go here instead of there? Why didn't you stay and get promoted in this job if, in fact, you were doing as good as you tell me you, you were? Company and people over product and compensation. I generally advise people to go work for the best people they can work for and for the best companies they can work for. If the product's not right and it's a good company and you're working for great people, that'll get fixed over time. If, the, if it's the greatest product in the world and you're working for lousy people, they'll find a way to mess it up and you'll be on the outs. Uh, venture capitalists understand this all too well. I mean, one of the oldest sayings in the venture capital world is a, an A management team with a B product will find a way to make their investors money. And a B management team with an A product will find a way to mess it up. I mean, and that's how they invest. You look at their record and you'll see it. It's people. Measurable accomplishments and promotions. If, if you can focus on anything when you're putting your story together, focus on what you have accomplished that you can legitimately take credit for or at least partial credit for and be clear which is which when you're explaining it. That's measurable with facts and figures and things that people will recognize and ideally which got you promoted. Credible transitions and moves, as I said, you're going to be explaining your moves uh, over time to people who are not going to take bullshit or fluffy uh, answers and pay much attention to them. So think about that before you make a transition or a move, and certainly as you're making it, how you're going to be explaining it 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And when I scan resumes and I talk to people about their background, the first thing and the last thing and almost everything in between that I looked at was where and when did this person get promoted? Because you get promoted when the people or the company that you work for thought you did a good enough job and what the job they gave you to give you a bigger one. And, you know, it's, it's amazing when I looked at, at careers, would, would see backgrounds of somebody that starts out probably not a Stanford MBA, but they start out as a, you know, district sales manager of company A and then a, um, a, a regional sales leader of company B and then a sales and marketing director of company C and a VP of sales and marketing of company E and a chief operating officer of company F. Looks like a great progression of titles. They never got promoted, never once. So it makes you wonder, were they just getting out of town just before the axe fell on them and getting lucky to use their background to get promoted to another company that would buy, buy their uh, story and give them a bigger job? And you look around, you'll see people like this all the time, and they're not the people you want to go work for. For one thing, they're going to be splitting. They're not going to take care of you because they're only concerned about themselves, and you don't want to be one of those people. So think about if, if you're close. If you've got an opportunity or you're thinking about leaving and you're close to finishing a project you can take credit for and getting a promotion, I would urge you, think long and hard before you leave anywhere just short of a promotion because somebody like me is going to ask you, why did you leave just short of when you should have probably gotten promoted? Were you going to get promoted? And finally, what makes a good story when you're telling it to somebody is at the end of the day, at the end of the conversation, you've got to be able to convince them that you can be successful doing something 
that in fact they want done. Because if you can convince them that you can do it, but it isn't anything that they need to have done, then you don't go anywhere. Or if they have something that they need to have done and you can't convince them that you can do it, it doesn't go anywhere. It's only when you put those two things together that telling your story to somebody that matters and can do something positive with it will get you a good outcome. How to tell it well, we've touched on some of this. Clear, clarity of goals and accomplishments. I'm basically an advocate of a simple chronological resume that says what you did, when you did it, who you did it for, what the results were, and, and what happened to you as a result. I mean, if you think about those things, that's, that's what I'm always looking for. I don't like a lot of fluffy explanations uh, of, of things that don't matter. Facts are good if they're true. Uh, promotions are better, accurate facts and dates, easy to pick out successes. Keep in mind that you, you want somebody who's looking at your resume or looking at your LinkedIn profile to look at something on there and say, aha, I can use that. That, that fits here. That's interesting. Logical transitions, no misrepresentations or vague claims, and a clear and credible path to what you seek. Mm -hmm.